fellas 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 it is time we knew this was coming what is going on everybody welcome back to another dragon ball spark and zero video and as you can tell by the title thumbnail and your screen right now let me stop punching my hand because you guys can probably hear that in the mic it is time for the birth of the ultimate Majiman. And I'm sorry, I can't contain my hype because we have been waiting on this trailer specifically for weeks now. And I can't wait to see how they throw this together and what other characters that they're going to have in this trailer that are not in V-Jump right now. But first of all, I want to give a huge shout out to not only DBS Hype for feeding the streets once again with the V-Jump scans. Yes, sir. Big shout out to the homie Trevor. A lot of you guys down in the comments probably know him. He was able to Google Translate a lot of this stuff through his phone. So even though these aren't going to be perfect translations i think we actually did this last month with the v jump scans as well so even though they aren't going to be perfect we got to work with what we have and a rough translation is good enough for us fellas so i want to go in and start off with the first image right here or better yet let's just start off at the top man majin buu and the super warriors who faced his threat will once again spark up battles in dragon ball spark is zero let's go fellas so they're going to start off with super buu right here but of course google translate is going to call him evil buu so uh before we even go any further even though they have him labeled as evil majin buu right here because of the translations or whatever um as you guys can see there is no sign of the actual evil version of uh super buu the gray one that fat buu spit out so hopefully he's just gonna be thrown in the trailer somewhere with other characters like possibly bobbity maybe kabito kai or kabito and shin who knows i mean they could do this any way they want to this is gonna be i haven't even counted up how many characters have officially been revealed just through v jump i think honestly it was only five we'll have to go through and count this before the end of the video but let's go ahead and start from the top right here um just like last month guys a lot of this stuff like the the text right here that's sideways i can barely read this and i'm not gonna be able to do it on the fly without messing up i'm sure so hopefully some of you guys can pause this or maybe we can go through this at the end of the video and i can just edit in what this says right here you know roughly but Majin Buu and the Super Warriors who faced his threat will once again spark up battles. And this is going to be Super Buu right here using his Revenge Death Bomber. Yo, I absolutely cannot wait to see what human extinction attack looks like in this game. It's going to go absolutely crazy. The tracking in this game is already good enough. So I, I that attack is probably going to go bananas. But underneath him, oh, now we're getting into the good stuff right here. Or let's, let's go ahead and read the side text right here first. It's going to say he toyed with his opponents with his ever-changing tactics an incredible demon yes sir so now we're going to be getting into majin buu go tanks absorbed or boot tanks as we like to call them and i don't know if you guys can make this out right here yes sir this is ultimate gohan and don't worry if you guys can't necessarily make out that this is ultimate gohan in the back getting tied up by these galactic donuts or getting restricted by the galactic donuts there is an entire other scan with him as well so we'll be able to get a better look at ultimate gohan here in a second but this is going to be our first official look at boot tanks and dragon ball spark and zero and over here on the side and i think what this translation over here on the side is trying to say is blow away the opponents and then stabilize them with galactic donuts and this is going to allow you to follow up with another special move so it's going to be really cool to uh, use both go tanks and boo tanks in this game and then down below boo tanks is going to be our first official look at boo han and dragon ball spark and zero and he's going to be using super ghost boo attack this is going to be really interesting i know that this is probably not going to be the case at all but i really hope that they like allow us to control all of the ghosts separately kind of like they did in dragon ball fighters with go tanks i know that that's probably not going to happen but that would be so sick man that would be so sick if you could just release the buttons uh on your controller and it'll release like the ghosts one by one like i said i know that's probably not going to happen but if they did incorporate that somehow that would be so cool man but once again i highly doubt that they would do that because there is what six ghosts right here so you would need to you would need to have six buttons held down so yeah that's probably not gonna happen and finally at the bottom of the page you guys guessed it man this is gonna be you might be able to barely see him down there he is really tiny under that massive ass attack but this is gonna be our first official look at kid boo in dragon ball sparking zero and this little translation over here to the side is gonna say quick melee attack together and pursue them let's keep our hands close and i'm not really sure if this is referring to buhan or kid boo as you can see uh you guys he's using his planet burst attack right here i'm not sure if this is just because of how i edited these scans to get like that yellow filter off or maybe they just changed the color of his attack in this game but shouldn't this be like pinkish purple and black or something like that like i said it could have just been how i you know edited the colors on the scans to get that yellow filter off of here so maybe this is the correct color we'll have to wait and see in the trailer but i feel like this should be slightly different right 
Maybe if I zoom out a little bit, it looks a little bit different. I don't know, man. I don't know. But now we'll go on to the next scan right here. Let's see. And now we're going to get... I'm not even going to look at all this stuff up here at the top. I want to go straight to Ultimate Gohan right here. Yes, sir. Our first look at Ultimate Gohan, man. Yo, his moveset is going to be so cracked in this trailer. I can already see it, bro. I can already see it. It's going to be a trailer with like... This trailer should have at least 10 characters, right, guys? If we're thinking about all the forms of Majin Buu, this what? Super Buu, uh, Buu Tanks, Buu Han, Kid Buu. Still expecting uh, Evil Buu. Uh, Bobbity, possibly. That's six. Ultimate Gohan. Uh, Kabito. Shin. That's nine. And who else? I don't think we'll get like Pui Pui, Yakon, or Yamu or anything like that. We already have Spopovich, so I don't think those three will necessarily make it. Maybe this will be a trailer with just like nine characters, or maybe I'm forgetting somebody else from the Boo Saga. I don't know yet. This could be a trailer with like the least amount of revealed characters since... Probably out of all of the Saga trailers, right? If I had to guess. I mean, we've already seen Go Tanks. Yeah, this could be a trailer with like 10 or less characters getting revealed. I'm not sure. Unless they do Shin, Kabito, and Kabito Kai. I don't know if they would do that. It's been a while since I played the original version of Tenkaichi 3. I usually just play the modded version or Tenkaichi 4, uh, as a lot of you guys probably know it as. But yeah, I cannot wait to see Ultimate Gohan in this trailer. He might have to get added to the to the main team, and I'm not sure. Team Gohan and Ultimate Gohan, I did like both of those guys in Fighters. I feel like Ultimate Gohan was a little bit harder to play with, like, the leg loops and all of his levels up to level 7. His whole moveset would change. You could, like, freestyle at level 7. It was a lot to keep track of. But I can't wait to see how he's going to play in this game, man. And then under here, we've already seen Vegito a few times. Yo, don't be alarmed, fellas. This QR code is not revealing anything new as far as I could tell. I already checked it out before I started recording. I, uh, as far as I know, it just took me straight to the Bandai Namco uh, Sparking Zero playlist. And I didn't see anything new. Maybe come next week, they'll have something private and that'll let us know that the trailer is coming sooner than we expected. So we'll just have to wait and see. But other than that, they're not really showing anything that we really care about too much outside of the trailers. No new information right here. But in our final scan, and this is actually pretty cool if you ask me, and I'm trying to get through this video really quick because I got like two other videos that I'm trying to do today. So let me know down below in the comments if I missed anything myself that maybe you guys picked up on in these scans that I'm kind of just flying through. So forgive me if that's the case. But in the final scans here, they're gonna officially show us all four different types of clash animations in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And as we all know, we've seen all of these actually at this point through all of the demo gameplay that we've gone through so far these are all going to have different and unique animations i'm gonna be honest with you guys and maybe a lot of y'all will agree with me all the different clashes in this game is probably one of the only things that's actually gonna make me have to get used to standard button layout on controller because i i can't be going through controllers every three four months i've been through this with a ton of other fighting games before I like the controller that I use now, so I want to try to extend that lifespan as long as possible. So I might actually have to get on standard layout. Now, I'll be honest, though, if I'm going to be playing standard layout, I probably got to get some practice in on Rage and Blast, too, right? Uh, I haven't played Rage and Blast nearly as much as I played Tenkaichi 3 in the past, so I got to get kind of acclimated to that game a little bit if i'm gonna be playing standard but before we do get on out of here guys the last thing that i kind of wanted to go over briefly here at the bottom of the page was it looks like there's gonna be a dragon ball sparking zero a digital code giveaway or lottery system i guess for 500 people now the directions on how to enter right are right here um but i will go ahead and say i personally have never done anything like this before so i don't know how these things work Maybe there was a specific postcard that came with this month's issue of V-Jump that they want you to use. But since you have to send this in to Tokyo itself, um, I'm going to assume that this is specifically for people in Japan. I feel like it will be a lot more difficult for people outside of the country to, you know, send something into Tokyo, especially if you're going to be sending something with your name, address, phone number, and all that stuff. So I would just try to keep that in mind and do your own research before you go and try to send a postcard off to Tokyo. I don't know exactly how this works. Please do your own research, guys, especially if you're going to be sending personal information across seas like this. But anyways, that is going to do it for today's Dragon Ball Sparking Zero update, fellas. I am so freaking hyped for this trailer, man. Hopefully, we're going to be getting this trailer at Gamescom next week. But if not, I still expect it before the end of the month. And I didn't forget about those Sekio jump scans from the end of last month either. Maybe sometime in the near future, we will be getting another Tournament of Power trailer. I am still looking forward to God of Destruction Top. Uh, we still haven't seen Frost. Kaba has got to be in the game. That's a must. We 
matter of fact because kaba isn't in the game yet that pretty much almost guarantees us another dragon ball super themed trailer right whether it be the universe 6 versus 7 tournament saga because we haven't seen champa either or whether it be uh specifically a universal survival saga trailer we got to be getting one of those sometime soon because we're missing frost all the forms of kaba and i think champa still has a decent uh a decent chance to make it in the game as well but anyway fellas let me know what you thought of this month's v jump scans down below in the comments majin buu saga theme trailer on the way our first look at ultimate gohan and even though we didn't get all the versions of uh super buu that we were expecting the only one that was left out was evil buu hey man we got the important ones we got super buu we got buu tanks buu han and of course the kid down here Hey, the kid might have to make it on a main squad, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Have a great, great day, and I'm going to see you all tomorrow.